All right, let's do some agar work. All right, everything has been cleaned, sanitized. Spraying some more alcohol in there. Always wash my hands. Put in my mask, all that neat stuff. What we're gonna do today is take some saved rice, colonized rice, and I'm gonna put one grain of rice on agar, just to demonstrate how we can multiply from just one grain of rice we can keep going, um, which is awesome. All right, let's do this. I also want to demonstrate, I just made these agar dishes or cups today, and they have um, condensation, they always do. So I'm going to I always do this and, and I never have an issue. I just open them and just shake off the condensation. And cover them back up. If you notice, I kept them facing down. I want to be even safer to spray again. But all I do is I open them, immediately face down, and shake them a bit. It's not going to remove all the condensation, but it removes quite a bit. And I just leave them face down for a while and they dry up. As you've seen on my videos, they, they don't have any condensation so I store them face down like that and eventually they, they dry up pretty good sometimes they have a little bit of humidity in there but never have an issue I'm going to leave three in here that I'm going to use for the rice, to propagate that rice. The other ones I'm putting on top of my steel air box. Now, it would be better if I waited for these to dry completely, or as much as they can dry, before doing the work we're gonna do I don't know if you can see, can you see see that bead of water running around? So what I do is I open it and hit them at an angle so that water comes out. And this uh, paper towel has been sprayed with alcohol, so it's damp. So yeah, it would have been better if I left these out for a bit before working with them but it's okay actually I'm gonna leave them open now because we're getting ready to start oh. all right open and prepped I'm gonna spray my hands again and my arms These have been flame sterilized. This is all good. Spray in there one more time. I'm gonna spray this again. All right. And I do not want to mess with this a lot. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open it. I'm move them to the side because I'm just going to pick them up 
my handy dandy metal tweezers put one in the center of each now rocket science just try to keep it closed as much as possible remember that nasties fall from the top down so here's what we do one little grain of rice which is easier said than done oh dropped it I'm not gonna use that one anymore okay let's grab another one drop it right in the middle close this right away we, we got quite a bit of condensation, but this is also because I sprayed alcohol on top. All right, so we got one done, two to go. You could flame sterilize this each time, but I don't think it's necessary. Get a little pretty grain of rice that's nice and white. Like this one right here, I like it. Right in the middle as always close this up tight want to go make sure this opens up easily Let's grab another fellow here you look good I don't know if you can see that but hey this one ran off back in the middle this is exactly what you don't want you don't want this open so long so but that one jumped around but we're good easy peasy close this keep this closed This goes back to the refrigerator where it is kept a long time. It's going to stay in the fridge for a long time, which is what we do. This goes back into the fridge. Our runaway grain is down there, which we left, us, left alone. And we got these. One two and three and I shall report back to see how they grow it's that simple we'll see how this goes all right so this is eight days later and we put a one grain of rice in each one of these look at the difference um this is the slowest one and then we got these two look at this one and look at this one each one of these you can still see the little grain of rice in the middle and if you notice this little white speck down here this is the one where the uh, grain of rice jumped around ran around and hit that corner there and I had to grab it from there and put it back in the middle so you can see how just laying there for a second dropped some tiny pieces of mycelium and it, and it grew there it's pretty amazing so we can say that this is the strongest one and then this will be the second one and this one just didn't it's just way too slow and i and it has i don't know the camera probably can't pick it up it has these little dots around here that don't look good to me so this one um i would not use 
one because it's so slow but two because it has some funky stuff growing around there so this one did not do well and this is why one of the mantras is don't keep all your eggs in one basket right now observe though how all the condensation is gone and I get many questions about this on on the, on the course um, how does the condensation go away even when I leave them closed um, I don't know I don't know if it gets absorbed into the agar probably but I just leave them upside down and that's it and these if you remember I did them when they were still wet which goes against my uh, dealing with impatience uh, argument but look at these these I made in the same day and I did not use and look how dry they are They're perfect um, sometimes you have just a tiny bit of water down here and I open them and hit them again like like I showed you already in this video um, but they're completely dry if you see there's a little tiny bit of uh, you probably can't see a blue around here but it's they're dry and they're perfect so I can use these um, whenever I want I still store them upside down like I've said before and uh, and that's it I just wanted to show you the progress and I will show you also a time-lapse of these growing right now